Welcome to this Highfield Academy training video for level 2 functional skills maths. This video contains information and guidance on criterion 25. Use the mean, median, mode and range to compare two sets of data. At level 2 and by the end of this session, you should be able to calculate the mean, calculate the median, calculate the mode, calculate the range and compare sets of data using the mean, median, mode and range. Let's recap how to calculate the mean. The mean is a type of average. An average is a number that gives an overview of collected data. In other words, an average summarizes the data collected. To work out the mean of collected data, we must follow these two steps. Step 1. Add up all the numbers in the data set. Step 2. Divide the total by how many numbers there are. When finding the mean, it is important to remember to add up the values carefully, as there can sometimes be quite a few numbers to keep track of. Let's look at an example. A teacher writes down the number of books read by five students in a month. Here are the results 12 books, 7 books, 4 books, 9 books and 10 books. Let's follow the steps to calculate the mean number of books read. Step 1. Add up all the numbers in the data set. We must add up 12, 7, 4, 9 and 10. This totals 42. Let's move on to step 2. Divide the total by how many numbers there are. To complete this step, we need to count how many results there are. Five students submitted their results. We need to calculate 42 divided by 5 to find the mean. 42 divided by 5 is 8.4. The mean is 8.4. Now it's your turn. The table shows the height of sunflowers in meters. What is the mean height of the sunflowers? Pause the video, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look. The first step when calculating the mean is to add up all the numbers in the data set. Let's find the total of 1.86, 2.2, 1.94, and 2.32. The total is 8.32. Let's move on to the second step, which is to divide the total by the amount of numbers we added. In this case, we added the heights of 4 sunflowers, so we need to calculate 8.32 divided by 4. 8.32 divided by 4 equals 2.08. The mean height of the sunflowers is 2.08 meters. The median is another type of average. It is the middle value. The median is calculated in two steps. Step 1. Order the numbers from smallest to largest. Step 2. Find the middle value. Let's look at the example. Below are the students' reading test scores. We can see there are five values. 24, 12, 13, 25, and 19. Calculate the median score. First, we need to order the numbers. When ordered from smallest to largest, the numbers are 12, 13, 19, 24, and 25. The next step is to find the middle value. Here, we can see there is an odd number of values. There are five values. Therefore, we simply need to find the middle number. The median is 19 in this example. There are two numbers on either side. You can see here, 19 is in the middle of the numbers. Here's an example question for you to try. Below are some ratings for a new hotel in a nearby city center. Calculate the median hotel rating. Pause the video to practice calculating the median, then press play when you're ready to continue. First, we need to order the numbers. When ordered from smallest to largest, the numbers are 32, 43, 
46, 52, and 78. The next step is to find the middle value. Here, we can see there is an odd number of values. There are five values. Therefore, we simply need to find the middle number. The median is 46 in this example. There are two numbers on either side. You can see that 46 is in the middle of the numbers. Sometimes, the number of values will be even. When this occurs, an extra step is required. Let's take a look. Below are some ratings for a new hotel in a nearby city center. Calculate the median or middle hotel rating. Pause the video while you order the numbers, then press play when you're ready to continue. The first step is to order the numbers. This will give us 32, 39, 40, 46, 63, and 68. Next, we need to find the median. However, when we look at these values, we can see there are an even number of them. There are six values. Therefore, the median, or middle value, is halfway between the third and fourth values, 40 and 46. If you are unsure of what this number is, there is a simple way to calculate it. Add up the two middle numbers, 40 and 46, before dividing them by 2. This will calculate the median. 40 plus 46 equals 86. 86 divided by 2 equals 43. The median is 43. Let's look at another example. Pause the video while you calculate the median, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's calculate the median. The first step is to order the numbers. This will give us 4 pounds, 6 pounds 50, 9 pounds, 11 pounds 50, 12 pounds, 15 pounds, 18 pounds 50, and 24 pounds 50. Next, we need to find the median. However, when we look at these values, we can see there are an even number of them. There are eight values. Therefore, the median, or middle value, is halfway between the fourth and fifth values. The median is halfway between 11 pounds 50 and 12 pounds. You might know what number is halfway between these values. If you aren't sure, add up the two numbers and divide them by two. This will calculate the median, or middle value. 11 pounds 50 plus 12 pounds equals 23 pounds 50. 23 pounds 50 divided by 2 equals 11 pounds 75. The median is 11 pounds 75. Let's move on to calculating the mode. The mode is another type of average. The mode is the most common value in a data set. An easy way to remember this is that mode sounds like the word most. The mode can be calculated in two steps. Step 1. Order the numbers. Step 2. Find the most frequent value. When finding the mode, it is important to remember the answer is not the largest number. It is the number or value that appears most often. Let's take a look at an example. A restaurant is checking their online reviews. The values are shown on the screen. Calculate the mode. First, we need to order the numbers from smallest to largest. This gives us 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4 and 5. Next, we must find out which number appears the most often. The most frequent or most common value is 3. It appears three times. All other values appear less often. Therefore, the mode is 3. Now it's your turn. Calculate the mode. Pause the video, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look. 
First, the values need ordering from smallest to largest. Next, to calculate the mode, simply identify which value is the most common or frequent. The most frequent value is 6. The mode is 6. When answering some questions, it's important to know that there will be more than one mode. When this occurs, you must state all modes in your answer. Let's take a look at this example. Calculate the mode of these numbers. 73, 73, 71, 71, 69 and 85. First, we need to order the numbers from smallest to largest. This gives us 69, 71, 71, 73, 73 and 85. Next, we must find out which number appears the most often. The most common values are 71 and 73. They both appear twice. All the other values appear once. Therefore, the modes are 71 and 73. They are both considered to be the mode and your answer should reflect this. Let's move on to calculating the range. The range is another type of average. The range provides us with the difference between the largest and smallest values in a dataset. The range can be calculated in two steps. Step 1. Find the largest and smallest values. Step 2. Subtract the smallest number from the largest. Let's take a look at this example. A grocery shop records the money the last eight customers spent. These values are recorded in the table. Calculate the range. First, we need to find the largest and smallest values. The largest value is £24.50. The smallest value is £4. Next, we need to subtract the smallest number from the largest. £24.50 minus £4 equals £20.50. The answer is £20.50. The range is £20.50. Now it's your turn. Pause the video while you work out the answer, then press play when you're ready to continue. OK, let's take a look. First, we need to find the largest and smallest values. The largest value is 68. The smallest value is 32. Next, we need to subtract the smallest number from the largest. 68 minus 32 equals 36. The answer is 36. The range is 36. Let's apply this knowledge to two sets of data. To compare two data sets, you will need to calculate the mean, median, mode or range of each set of data to see what they reveal about each set's characteristics. Let's take a look at the example below. The table shows the number of goals a football club scored each week over two seasons. Looking at the table, we can see that there are two sets of data. The first data set is the number of goals scored during season one. The second set of data is the number of goals scored during season two. Calculate the modal goals scored in each season. Which season has the lowest modal score? How do you think this question should be answered? What are the steps needed to correctly complete this question? Pause the video while you think about your answer, then press play to continue. For each season we will need to order the values, find the most frequent value, and state the lowest modal score. Pause the video while you work out the modal goals for season 1 and season 2. Press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look. Calculate the modal goals scored in each season. Which season has the lowest modal score? Step 1. Order the values. To complete this step, we simply need to arrange the numbers so they are in order. This makes the mode easier to identify. Step 2. 
find the most frequent value for each data set. To complete this step, simply identify which number appears the most often in each data set. Season 1 has a mode of 8. Season 2's mode is 9. 8 appears 3 times in the first data set. 9 appears 3 times in the second data set. Step 3. State the lowest modal score. We need to identify which answer is the lowest of the two modes. In this instance, the lowest modal score is 8. This is because 8 is smaller than 9. Let's apply our learning from the session. Here is an exam question. Pause the video to work out your answer, then press play when you're ready to continue. The first step in answering this question is to identify the highest and lowest values for each person. Joe's highest value is 94. Their lowest value is 36. Alex's highest value is 87. Their lowest value is 41. Jamie's highest value is 97. Their lowest value is 24. Finally, we need to identify who has the highest range of scores. Simply put, we need to name the person whose range is highest. Joe's range is 58. Alex's range is 46. Jamie's range is 73. Therefore, the person with the highest range is Jamie, as their number is the biggest. Let's recap what you've learned in this video. You should now be able to calculate the mean, calculate the median, calculate the mode, calculate the range, and compare sets of data using the mean, median, mode, and range. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.